Prepare to lower! Break the capstan. Position now. Let's go. Now. Sweetheart. Yes. Look. Smile. Oh. Is something wrong? Uh, yes, I'm afraid so. It seems to me there are a lot of nasty-looking sharks out there. No, right! Sharks! Come here, you two. <laughs> well, it's only normal there are sharks, Smile. We're at sea. This is their home. Honestly, there really isn't anything to worry about. Well, okay, you got a point. But I still don't like them. They're untrustworthy and nasty things. Sharks, indeed. They're worse than cats. Ugh. <laughs> Calm down, Smile. Even cats eat mice. Oh, yeah? If you say so. <laughs> what is that yellow thing, and what is it doing in my territory? W w whatever it is, I, I, I saw it first, and so I should be the one who gets the honor of telling Razor Teeth about it. All right, you go on your own. It'll take at least a half an hour before anyone even begins to understand what you're saying. <laughs> I'm out of here. Come on, boys. We've got stuff to do while we're waiting for the chief. Let's see how strong this thing is. What's happening? Calm down, Smile. Relax. It must have been an underwater current. A current? Did you feel that? Sunken ships in my cemetery. Look at my empire and all you see are sunken ships in my cemetery. That's 
be. Chief, someone's coming. B -b 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 boss Scooter, what do you want? There's a, a little yellow boat going down to the wreck of the Titanic. You gotta be kidding me! Well, uh, n n no, boss. Listen, you. What gave you the idea you could sink a boat without my permission? No, 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 no boss. It's not sinking. It's connected to the surface by a rope or, or a couple of ropes, and it's coming down slowly. What? In my territory? Who dares to do this? I, I, I don't know, boss, but, but, but I was the first to notice the, the, this strange yellow. The, the, ain't I done well? Did you say yellow? Yellow. Yellow? Yellow, yeah. Oh. Ah, I hate that color. I can't stand yellow. You know, it's a color of light. It's the color of the sun. Are you sure it's yellow? Well then, let's go and sink it now! Yes, yes, yes! Let's sink it! Let's sink it! Let's sink it! Come on, let's go! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah! yeah. There's, There's no one more nasty than you! Yeah, yeah, yeah! We'll sink it and no one will know! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! yeah. Hey, yeah nice song! Yeah! yeah. yeah. We'll we'll see you later! later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah! to a stop. Don't you think so, too? Absolutely. There is something definitely wrong here, and we're in trouble. Trust me, it's really big. Think so? Oh, no. There he is. While you were gone, sir, we found the object and we have demobilized it. Good. Well done, Scarface. We thought it'd be a good idea to see how strong this yellow bubble is. And you know what? It's made of good material. Very strong steel and kind of hard to sink. You know what I mean? Oh, really? These two cables attach this yellow bubble to the surface. One is good strong steel. The other is a softer material. Well done, Scarface. You've done a great job. <laughs> right then, let's think what we can do. Let's go back. Now then, what shall we do with this intruder who dared to enter our territory? Yeah, we'll destroy him. Sink him. Put him in the graveyard. We'll show him. <laughs> so let's cut the cables. Let's get those teeth working and get on with it! Bite it! Cut it! <laughs> cut it! Uh, oh. uh, Carry on! Uh, it's so moving. Every time I do something bad, I get all emotional. Like a little fish. Isn't that right? Get out of the way! I'm coming! <laughs> Be careful. Try to stay calm and make sure you hold on to something. We're almost there. Come on! It'll only take one more bite. What now? What's the hold up? We were waiting for you. The honor is all yours, O oh, treacherous and most majestic leader, undeniable master of all evil. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, b -b -b boss, uh, uh, aren't we gonna get the loot? What? How dare you tell me what to do? Dare. I've been very understanding and he he's taken advantage of it. We got all the time in the world to take care of the loot, but right now I have to go and brush my teeth. Come on! Well, I 
I want the wakes. Get a move on. Ah. Ah. Hurry up. Coming. Ready, boss. Come on, get this stuff off me. Ah. <laughs> ah. ah, good. Now get to work. A telegram has to be sent straight away to the Baron Vander Tilt. A telegram, everyone to their posts, quickly! Oh, no. This is awful! Oh, no. oh no! I'm coming, I'm here, so let's start. Okay. Come on. Where's that antenna? It's coming. Here it is. About time. Coming! Get the shells together. Come on, let's get a move on. Have you finished? Hey, I'm talking to you. How long do I have to wait to send a message? Everything's ready, Chief. We're ready to send. Well, let's do it. Ready to start. To the Right Honorable Baron Vandertilt. Your Lordship, it is my pleasure to inform you that in accordance with your wishes, I have just destroyed an underwater expedition. I am sure the said expedition was searching for the wreck of the Titanic. So? Adi. There are human beings inside it. They've all passed out, but I think they're still alive. Let me see. <gasps> Elizabeth! She's still alive! I have to get them up to the surface. The little air they have left is disappearing fast! Gosh, this is really stuck! Oh. Oh. Get, get, go! Go! Whoa! Stop that, Adi! What you're doing is useless! What do you mean? Elizabeth, Don Juan, Smile, Ronnie, and Top Connors are inside! They're my friends, and they'll die if I don't bring them back to the surface! I only said what you're doing is useless. There is something we can do to save them. Come on, let's go! Everyone in position! Our captain is trying to tell you that the journey to take them up will take too long. You see, with the little air that's left, there will not be enough for them to survive back to the surface. If that's true, then it means there's nothing left for us to do, and that they'll all die down here. Oh, oh... Not at all. We'll give them breathing apparatus and take them to Atlantis. Uh -huh. Right now, you should step aside and let us carry on the work. Okay. Uh, uh. Wouldn't it be quicker if I lent a technical? Yes, of course. Help us to open the hatch. I swear, if something bad happens to my friends, I'll rip every tooth out of that shark and I'll make them into the most beautiful necklace you've ever seen. Hmm. Come in, Jeffrey. Excuse me, Your Lordship. I think it's important. I had asked not to be disturbed under any circumstances. This had better be very important. Yes, yes, it is, Your Lordship. It's an important message. Very important. It's from Razor Teeth. He has important news for you. So spit it out, then, instead of prattling on. But I... Uh... Good. Very good. Jeffrey, now this is important. I want our mini-submarines to be in a permanent state of alert from now on. There you are.
You can open the hatch now. Come on, let's go. Oh. There's still a man and a woman in there, Archie. Will you help us take them back to Atlantis? Yes, of course we'll help you, Elizabeth and Don Juan. But where's Smile? Smile? I'm talking about the dog. What's happened to him? The dog's doing well. I'll take him. Oh, good. That's a load off my mind. I had lots of problems putting his mask on because he kept struggling and muttering all sorts of gibberish, which made no sense at all. Don't worry. Everything's under control. I'll go and get him, and you look after the two humans. Oh. <laughs> uh, off we go. <laughs> Are you ready? Huh? All right, form ranks. Forward, march! Ah, oh no, slow down! Hey, what's happening? Don't worry. Help! Uh, I'm dead! Come help me! Help me! Okay. This isn't happening! Keep calm. You're safe now. Keep calm. You're all safe. No, I'm dead. And you're taking me to doggy hell. And none of this is fair at all. Why is this happening to me? I've always been good. Yeah, I chased cats, and when I was a puppy, I stole some nice juicy steak, but that isn't a good enough reason for this. I want to call my lawyer. Calm down, Smile. Calm down. Look around you. Can you see anything bad? How can you think such a beautiful place can be so evil? And my face isn't that bad looking, is it? I haven't changed into the devil, or have I? You're right. I'm so stupid not to have realized. You're beautiful. It's the shock. This place is really amazing. Thank you. Even us Amazons of the sea like compliments. But what's the matter now? I thought you'd calm down. Hey, what happened to all my friends? They're all safe. I'll tell you everything soon. Right now, we're going into the city. taking them right where you're going to the hospital where the doctors will give you a special treatment what you must be joking I'm not undergoing any treatment no no absolutely not out of the question forget it it's nothing dangerous 
Everyone in Atlantis has had it. It'll help you breathe when you're in the water. I'll be like a fish then? Are you saying I'll be able to go underwater without breathing? Of course. This is what the treatment's for. We're at the bottom of the ocean, you know. Come on, get onto the stretcher and we'll go to the hospital. All right. But are you sure there won't be any nasty surprises? They've arrived safe and sound and they're taking the treatments. Oh, amazing! This is such great news! <laughs> At last, we've got a reason to party! I'll organize the most breathtaking party yet. One that'll stay in the memories of everyone forever! Wait, are you starting again? No! Oh, I have to find something. Gosh, where is it? Oh, where can it have got to? Goodness, I can't find it, darn! It was here just a second ago. Stop I it. can't Stop believe I... Things around. No, oh, it isn't here. It must have got lost somewhere. Same old story. Oh, hey, that's oh, no, enough that's not, now. Oh, gosh, it would have been so fabulous. There. Oh, it got stuck. Oh, Don't dear. shout at him. Oh. You know how sensitive he is. It's going to be fabulous. We'll have such a great party. Your Majesty, yeah. they've arrived. We've just been given the news. Yay, they're here! It'll be great! They're at the doctor's now, and they're undergoing the treatment there! Yes, I know. We've been told. What's next? We have to find the best way of solving the problem. Oh. What? I'm sure we'll find a solution. Of course, it'll be easy! <laughs> All we have to do is convince them there was no alternative. They could have died, or they could have been brought here, where they'll have to stay for the rest of their lives. Of course, when they realize that we're giving them the elixir of life, and they'll never grow old again, they'll just want to thank us and celebrate forever, don't you think? Oh. <laughs> mm, don't worry. Fabulous! Fabuloso! I'm gonna knock your socks off! I'll organize the best party that's been around here in the last 300 years! Look, keep still and let me think a minute, will you? Sorry, I only wanted to say that I'm here, Your Majesty. I'll leave it all to Pingo. <gasps> what? Pingo? <laughs> I'll do it, of course. Right, that's decided then. Pingo will explain it all to the new arrivals. What? Pingo? Uh-huh. Are you happy? Very. But, Your Majesty, this goldfish will make a mess Gold. of the... Gold? I'm made of the purest chisel silver! Oh, I willingly undertake my duties, Your Majesty! Pingo, please try to be tactful, all right? Of course! I'll take what I need. Uh, uh, no, uh, here. Oh, oh, now I'm ready. Oh, ho, ho, this'll be wonderful. I look fabulous. That's great. With that outfit, you'll be the perfect ambassador. I'm sure you'll do us proud. I'm sure I will, too. I'm off! Your Highness, if you carry on encouraging him like this, Pimgo will become so vain he'll end up being totally unbearable. This is the secret city of Atlantis. It's incredible. What a wonderful place! That's strange. How can you exist and nobody knows about you? I don't understand it. That's easy. We're hidden down here. So before you were like us and then you changed into what you are now? Are you telling me we'll really be able to breathe underwater without wearing any masks? Incredible! And do you think it'll make us just like you now? I have heard a lot of old sailors' tales about you. But tell me, have you got any idea how deep we are? What have you got to eat down here? I'm starving. Please, bear with me a little longer. All your questions will be answered in a while. But I'm afraid I cannot answer them now. I'm not authorized to do so. Uh, yes, I'm listening, sir. Yes, they're fine. The treatment has just finished. 
Certainly, Your Excellency. I'll do it right away. Yes, of course. Good, of course. Your parties are always fantastic, sir. I have just spoken to His Excellency Pingo, Counselor to His Majesty. He would like to receive you and discuss certain things with you, and he has asked me to show you around the city while we're on the way to see him. Thank you. We would be honored. You needed me? Go and get things ready, immediately. Get what ready? Calm down. Me? Yes. To be able to complete the treatment, you have to drink the elixir before you visit the city. Ah, here it is now. Here. Of course. Keep calm. If they wanted to harm us, they wouldn't have saved us. And this elixir is such a pretty color. Come on, drink. <laughs> You're right. I'll take one. Let's drink a toast to our friends of Atlantis, to whom I am eternally grateful for having saved us. I'm honored to introduce to you my squadron of mermaids and mermen. It's thanks to them you're safe. Hey, Heidi! Hey, hey. hey. How's it going? It's great to see you again. Hey, You've been great, Heidi. Bye! We must go. It's getting late. How do you like it? This is such a great place. <laughs> it's like a dream. After you. Wow. I couldn't believe my eyes. I was looking and everything seemed... Well, uh. Huh? Huh? <gasps> what? We are expected by His Excellency Pingo, Counselor to His Majesty. He would like to speak to the new arrivals. Huh? I don't believe it, aren't those toys? Yes. Yes, they are. You have no idea how many toys we have rescued. Toys that have gone overboard during their crossing. Toys trapped in wrecks down here. Oh, but... Hey, look at that. They talk and move just like us. And that surprises you? The king says everything lives, moves, and thinks, even if it seems impossible at times. There. Everything's okay now. Are you all right? <laughs> yes. Oh. I've got a tough yeah. hand. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and the sailors are practically gymnasts, so I... Not um... quite. Stop messing around. We're here to talk to someone very important. Hi there. Allow me to introduce myself and welcome you here. I'm Pingo, third counselor to His Majesty, the King of Atlantis. 
Your Excellency, I have shown them around the city as you suggested. As the King's Ambassador, I have the honor and pleasure of welcoming you to his kingdom. This is the most beautiful place in the world, and here you will be able to live in peace and serenity. I don't like the huh? sound of that. It's like one of those things you see written on uh -huh. a tombstone. Yes. Well, I now officially declare you new inhabitants of Atlantis. Thank you. And now, I hope you will appreciate this very special, very personal welcome I organize myself. You know what? There's something very fishy going on here, guys. You What's think going so? On? Look, over there. Welcome to Atlantis, where everything's a dream. And it's a special place. We have a king and have a queen. Here is a surprise. Hmm. You can thank your lucky stars that I have saved your lives. It's true. We have everything from summer through to spring. <laughs> everything is free, as you can plainly see. The toys and fish are real. No, nothing here is fake. I will say without mistake. <laughs> This is the only place where you always stay awake! The water is fresh, you can swim around At the fish old tank, it's a real cool sound Coming to my shelf, I doesn't cost her dime Every single day, it's always party time Bubble, bubble, trouble, trouble, don't mean a thing We can surf all day while the dolphins sing Coming to my shelf, I doesn't cost her dime Every single day, it's always party time It's fun and games <coughs> Here in Atlantis And you never, never get tired of anything So, here we go again The water is fresh, you can swim around At the fish old tank, it's a real cool sound Coming to my shelf, I doesn't cost her dime Every single day, it's always party time One thing I've got to tell you, up there, you can't go back. A week has now passed since the disappearance of His Highness Prince Don Juan of Almeida and his beautiful consort. They were exploring the ocean bed in search of the wreck of the Titanic. Their submersible, made by the best engineers and scientists the world has to offer, has disappeared and there is no trace of it or of its occupants. In all probability, they have ended up at the bottom of the ocean, along with the mythical Titanic, which they were searching for so zealously. And now, I hope you will accept my apologies and those of the Queen for the lack of tact displayed by our counselor when he gave you the news. I can now confirm it. From now on, Atlantis will be your home, and you will not be able to leave it ever again. Uh -huh. Your Majesty, on the contrary, it's better that we were told about the situation right away. And I have to say your counselor informed us in the most amusing way, which helped us all to see the benefits. I would also like to thank you on behalf of my companions. But then why aren't your companions here with you? Your friends aren't still getting over the shock of the news, are they? No, they're still a bit surprised by it, but they understand that we had no choice in the matter. We'd either have been left there to die, or we could have been brought safely here to Atlantis, however not able to return to our world. Your Majesty, the truth is that when Smile found out that the throne room was full of water like a goldfish bowl, he refused to enter it. 
Ronnie and Top Connors decided to stay with him. Actually, I think they decided to stay with him so they could visit the city and admire the sights. <laughs> ah, yes, I know. When I was little, I had a dog who would disappear for days every time bath time came around. <laughs> <laughs> we are very grateful for your visit, and especially for having reassured us. Excuse me. Welcome. Come here. Come here. What's happening? Oh. Why have you stopped? Did you hear that? D -d Do you mean something dangerous? Yeah. What is it? Tell oh. me. I've got it. <laughs> oh. 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 I'll uh, see you later. Hey, hey, watch out, huh? Lover boy coming through. Hey, hey, watch it, web feet. <laughs> Hey, you two. If I'm not mistaken, you're the new guys, right? Yes, but what do you want? You're Lolly, right? Mm-hmm. And you're Top Connors, right? Mm-hmm. And who are you? Some kind of psychic? Hey We've been keeping an eye on you since you arrived, and we've heard everything you've been talking about. What? We have to be careful. I take it you two would like to leave Atlantis, right? Well, that's what we wanted when we first arrived, but then we were told about what goes on here, and we actually think it's quite a nice... Good, you can never be too prudent, but you can trust us, you know. Let's get off this path. This way. Follow me. Hey, whereabouts are you taking us? We're taking one of our secret routes. Come on! And you say we can trust him? I don't think it's dangerous. Let's be careful, though. Mm -mm. Ah, it's open! <laughs> Yes, everything's ready. Come on. Uh, I'm coming. <laughs> After you. <all. laughs> oh, what is this? Come on, let's get moving. Uh, uh, yeah. What are you waiting for? Jump on. What kind of rats are you? You know we yeah. can adapt to any kind of situation. Hold on. Get ready for a bumpy ride. The tunnel is supplied with compressed air, so be careful. The Atlantis Rat Reunion is about to start any minute now. Come on, let's go.
Need to know how to swim. You can swim, too. We're late. Come on. This is amazing. Breathing and talking underwater. Come on, let's get going. We're late. Hello. What's the password? It's power to the rats. Uh, correct. Come on. Hmm? Who are these? These are the new arrivals. The chief did say that all the rats should be present, you idiot. Uh. And now the moment for our liberation has come. We should not be here in Atlantis. It is totally unjustified. Oh, right. Bravo. 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 Yes. We're prisoners here, and like all prisoners, we have the right to escape. That's exactly what we'll do. Right. Bravo. 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 Well said. But beforehand, let's take a huge stash of the elixir of life with us. Then we'll be able to go back up to the surface, and thanks to the elixir, we'll be able to conquer the world and rule over everyone. We can leave behind this weird place forever with its people, fish, and silly toys, the king with no face, and the queen who's half fish, and those counselors. I hate those pesky advisors. So that before we go, I will deal personally with these three fools. And we'll offer that annoying little pink octopus as a present to Razor Teeth. That fish is the one that causes all the problems. Razor Teeth? He yes, he's our ally. Have you him. heard of him? No, I remember the name because it's so terrifying. <laughs> he's even worse in reality. And his ally is even more terrifying than that. His associate, the Baron Vandertilt, is definitely worse than him. We should get rid of those wretched counselors. Let's destroy them. They won't ever appreciate us enough, and they'll get what they deserve. We should get rid of Biagio, that annoying little weasel. And then I'll get a screwdriver, and I'll dismantle that stupid soft toy Pico myself. Maybe this is a joke. No, I don't think so. Well, it could be. Especially to scare the new arrivals. No, 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 no. I can assure you that that pirate didn't look like he was joking. And nor did the others. Isn't that right, Ronnie? Yeah. So what should we do next then? I mean, if it really is dangerous, like you say, maybe we should warn them about it. I mean, if... it's thanks to the people of Atlantis that we're alive. We should go right away and tell them everything. We should tell the king and his counselors all that we know. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, are you going now then? This time we should all be there. Do I make myself perfectly clear, Smile? <laughs> <laughs> but I can't come. 
I'm really scared of water. I had a bad experience when I was only a puppy. Don't try to make excuses. You're in Atlantis and you'll just have to get used to water. Anyway, you're already used to it. Let's go. If they dismantle me with a screwdriver, I'll die, won't I? No, calm down. No one's going to take you apart. No one will hurt you. They'll have to have a screwdriver, and down here in Atlantis, there are no screwdrivers. They've all been banned. Uh, 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 the Meccano set! The Meccano set! I'll die! I'll die! There are screwdrivers in the Meccano set! A Meccano set? What did I say? There are two screwdrivers in there, you know? Yes, but what is a Meccano set? I'll tell you. It's a toy. Well, uh, not really. It's a box full of metal plates and wheels and axles, nuts, bolts, all sorts of things. It's a toy for kids. They can make That's things enough. do that? Tell me how he did that. No, be quiet, you two. He's using his powers, and he doesn't want to be interrupted. Listen to me carefully. I've decided that you'll help those rebels in every way possible. Huh? What are you saying? It's the best thing to do. Everything's clear now. Your Majesty, I think I've come up with a plan, but it might be best if I explain and tell everyone the details. Ronnie and Top Connors will have to gain the trust of the Rebels' leader and do everything they tell them to, even if it means stealing the elixir of life. No arguments. Do you understand? I'm ready to serve, Your Majesty. We must prepare for battle. All we have to do is win. Of course we'll yeah. win! And no one will dismantle me! We'll replace the flask of elixir with a false one, which will be full of water. And take care not to get caught. You have to be the perfect spies. Now you can go. Show them the way out. Yes, yes, your majesty! <laughs> There's no sign of any rats around here. Have you got any idea at all how we can get in touch with those rebels? No, I sure don't. The best thing would probably be to carry on wandering around and hopefully they'll find us. <laughs> Are you going to tell us where you were? We were trying to find something interesting to steal and take back up as a souvenir. <laughs> <laughs> you two are really great, and we really need some good guys on board. I have decided that you four are the ones who will make up the gang who will steal the elixir of life. Let's do it! We'll meet in the boat graveyard in an hour from now. Razor Teeth will accompany us to the surface. I'll let him take control of the seas and oceans, and we will take control of the land. Now then, Operation Power to the Rats has started, and Ronnie and Top Connors, together with the other two rats, will steal the elixir. How does he come to know all this? He sees and hears everything. Oh, come on, everything? Be quiet. Shh. Pingo, Biagio, and Smile, you'll have to intercept them. Try and distract them and replace the flask of elixir with another flask full of water. But 
where will we find another flask like this? I'm sure we won't find one. Oh. How did he do that? He must be a magician. No, not at all. You've got it wrong. He's not a magician. He's much more than that. As soon as you've replaced the flask, let them go. Make no mistakes, no false moves. They mustn't suspect a thing. I'm warning you, they mustn't know we know. No, that doesn't go. Just this will be, oh, I'll just get, if I get accessorized. Oh, here we are, ready, your majesty. I swear we won't make any mistakes, your majesty. Make me proud, Smile. Be good. Good luck, Smile. <laughs> We've got to be careful. Okay. <laughs> It's like a ghost town down here. Until 200 years ago, this was like a fortress. But as no one was interested in the spring, all the guards were removed. Everything is ready. So, go get the elixir. I'll go get it. What are you doing? What's going on? Stealing the elixir, were we? <sighs> we won't get away with it. <sighs> Destroy him! Hey, over here! <sighs> Get out of here, go! And take the flask with you! Let go! Let go, you flea with beast! Not so Let go. fast. <laughs> ow, ow. Now hit me and run. And at that point, they all ran off. Oh, everything went according to plan. And what shall we do now, Your Majesty? We'll follow them. We'll fight them. Picos, give the signal. Tell everyone to gather right here. Yes, sir! 
Oh, hey, now come on, let me have a go. Huh? Uh, stop it, Smile! It doesn't work like that! Uh, stop! Hey! Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Poor little me. What have I done to deserve this? At this rate, I'll end up with no nose at all. <laughs> well, you better be careful. <laughs> They're coming now. Your Majesty, I think the Rebels are in for a big surprise. Ah, uh, yes. Oh. Smile, you seem to be a brave fellow. Do you want to be part of the action as well? Of course I do. I've got unfinished business with a certain little kung fu rat, and I'd really like to get even with him. Then go. Hey, what's with these people? Ah, this time it's not a joke. I'm going. Bye. Brr. Hey, Adi. Smile, what a surprise. Hey, how you doing? Oh. <laughs> There it is. It's ours. Isn't it great? Great! No one can stop us now! Thank you, thank you! One day, you'll be able to tell your grandchildren about this. And it's all thanks to this little flask. This is the beginning of worldwide domination! Well done! Boss! Gee! Over there! Boss! Shut up! Boss! Boss! The, 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 the merman! Go! The, 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 the mermen are coming here! And they want to get hold of the flask with the elixir at all costs! What? Quick! All you rats get out of here! Go on! We'll cover you. Don't worry. Let's go. Let's go. So we are agreed. You and your rats take the land, and I'll take the seas and the oceans. And no funny business, right? <laughs> Razor teeth. The oceans are all yours. I can't bear any more of this wet climate. <laughs> Together, we will rule the Chief, world. Chief, look out! Here comes the enemy. Huh? Let's move. Quick. Are you ready to send a message to the Baron? Uh, yes, whenever you want, sir. We've got a connection. Good. Then what are you waiting for? Get riding, then. To the right, Honorable Baron van der Tilt. The moment has come to use your secret army. Whilst offering protection to our friends and allies, the rats from Atlantis who are trying to reach the surface, we came under attack from an army of mermen and mermaids. Without your help, we can say goodbye to the treasure of the Titanic. Yours faithfully, Razor Teeth. What are you rambling on about? Mermen, mermaids, rats from Atlantis? Oh. What are you writing about, Jeffrey? Have you been drinking by any chance? Well? No, your lordship. Uh, I was only writing what was transmitted, and I never drink, never. All right, all right, never mind, leave it. At least the request for help is clear. And it's also perfectly clear that the risk of losing the treasure is very high. Give the order to launch the mini-submarine so we can help the rats and sharks in the battle against the mermen and mermaids. Ah, Geoffrey. Mm hmm? The orders must be followed to the letter. And there must be no complaints. At all. As you say, sir. If I find out that Razor Teeth has been making fun of me, I'll turn him into cat food. And lots of it. A bit to the right! Get a better aim! Brrr. 
That's it, good! Swim! Swim faster! This isn't going well. Let's go to the back of the group and then we can sneak off. Okay, then. Watch what you're doing, Smile. His Majesty gave the order to be careful and not to hit anyone. I know, I know, I remember. But he didn't say anything about burning tails, though, did he? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> well done! We have received the order to look after and to protect your two friends. Attack! seen the last of us. The sharks are right behind us. What do we do now? Little one, hmm? I appreciate your effort, but this is no place for someone like you. Tell me, what is your name, my child? I'm called Brumali, your majesty, but I'm not a little girl. Listen to that voice. You really should gargle with something. You've got an awful voice, sweetie. For the love of broken bagpipes, I'm the commander of the mountain artillery troops. What? Commander? Oh, huh, oh no, um, uh, what I mean to say is it's, it's a lovely disguise. It's a curse, not a disguise. I'm dolled up like this because I fell into the hands of a little girl who thought she'd put a wig on me when she saw me with this skirt on. You get it? The colors of my glorious Scottish regiment were changed for a frilly girl's skirt. It's awful. I can't bear it. Your Majesty, let me fight. Give me a chance. I have to prove myself. I'm the best artillery man in the army. I have to banish this curse that's haunting me and regain my identity. How? How can you do it? I can show you immediately, your majesty. What now? What a shot! Wow! Ah, you've just gotten yourself promoted from artilleryman to general. Soldiers, let me tell you that from now on, you have a new leader, a new general, the General Brumali. Come on, boys! Let's defeat the enemy!
did we get in the water? Uh, I don't know, sir. like the Baron's giving a great party over there on board. Look at us. We're here treading water and freezing to death. <sighs> Jeffrey, tell me, what was happening? Uh, let's see. Oh, yes, I was serving your dinner, your lordship. Uh, that's it. Well, don't be ridiculous. I, I can see that. I mean, now listen to me, Jeffrey. What were we doing here in this boat in the middle of the sea? Yes. Uh, well, do you think this is a cruise, maybe? Do you need to get some rest, your lordship? Yes, of course. I'm tired. Ugh. Jeffrey, just because we're on holiday doesn't mean you can dress any way you'd like to. One does have standards, you know. I just want to say hello to a certain friend of mine. <laughs> hey, stop you, Rat Fink. Where do you think you're going so fast? I'll teach you to punch me on the nose. <laughs> Somebody your own size. Turn back! I don't understand why we've let them go back up to the surface. Yeah, they'll tell everyone about the existence of Atlantis. <laughs> no, don't worry. It's all right. There's no danger. Oh! Oh! Uh oh! oh. Your Majesty, look! This, tough guy. Ah, <laughs> Huh? I don't like violence. My orders were quite clear. You will have to free Ronnie and Top Connors and let the others escape. It was so confusing, and I'm not very clever or experienced. I'm yeah, only seven go. years let old. Me go. <laughs> and what's Razor Teeth doing in your tentacles? What tentacles? Oh, these, um... <laughs> he must have got stuck without me realizing, Your Majesty. Gosh, I don't know how it happened. Let him go now. Oh. Come on, he said let me go. Well? Oh, no! I said let him go, not throw him away like a piece of trash. Sorry, Your Majesty. Next time I'll be more careful. <laughs> he was so slippery, just slipped through my fingers. Enough of your excuses. You deserve a punishment for this. It's not fair, Your Majesty. I protest. Adi only did what we all would have liked to have done. What? Instead, we had to let all the guilty ones free. <laughs> and what makes you think they aren't getting oh. what they deserve? Huh? <laughs> Huh? I promise!
Yes, it will be so. I assure you, we will take power and dominate the whole world. We will be the rulers, and we will destroy all those humans who are of no use to us. The others will become our slaves. <laughs> Just one drop of the elixir will make you immortal. You will even be able to stay underwater for as long as you They're in for a big surprise. Be quiet, you know Smile. That, means? that we'll be able to do everything we want. Do you understand? We'll be able to take over every city, town, and village in the world! Yeah! No one will be able to stop us. We'll be so powerful, and I'll become your leader, your emperor! would like to know how we can be sure this elixir really works. <laughs> well, it's really very easy. I'll give a tiny drop to your leader, and he'll be able to show you that he can stay at the bottom of this well and breathe underwater for as long as he wants. Here we go! <laughs> Boss. Get everything ready. What? <clears throat> now you will see. Let's use these two bricks as weights. Then your leader will be able to stay quite easily at the bottom, and everyone will see what will happen. We're the best! We're the best! Pingo, come here when I'm talking to you. Yes, your majesty, I'm here. It's time to go. Are you ready? Just a minute, your majesty. I have to put something suitable on. Yes, yes. Let's go! Come on, Screwy! Are you ready, Yachty? Let's do it! Mission number two! 
The counselors have suggested that the Queen and I should reward your efforts. It was thanks to you oh, oh, that really? we discovered the rebels. <gasps> Yay! What do we get? What do we get? Cheese for everyone! <laughs> as soon as it's ready, you'll find out. Thank you. That's incredible! Fabulous! It's brilliant! Let's go check it out! Excellency, Councillor Pingo. Oh. 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 Here I am, coming! We finished, Your Excellency. Now it's down to you to carry it. Well done! You were wonderful! You were really quick! <laughs> it's a job well done! Thank you, Your Excellency. Good luck. Thank you! We really need it! Huh? What's happening? Adi, His Majesty asked me to come and help you take the Titanic to the Forgotten Island. Good! You're the man for the job! Let's go to the command room! Woo! After you! Adi, you hold the boat up and I'll slip under it. You'll have to keep it steady and then we can carry it more easily. All right! <clears throat> Oh, you found it then! Oh, can't you feel? We've started moving again! Oh, woo! <laughs> okay, here we are. Yeah. This should work. Uh, oh, see, look! <laughs> Fabulous! Well done, Screwy. It's working just right now. Thank you. And for your efforts, I'll make you second in command. What? Here is the reward we promised you. This island is now yours, and this will be your new home. This is a secret island, unreachable by anyone, and here you will live happily ever after. But we'll never see our friends from Atlantis again. Come with me. Let's go. Okay. This place is deserted. There's no one here. No Pingo, no Biagio, nobody. And I met a lovely lady dog, too. She was really nice. We'll have to start our lives all over again? We're gonna have to start from scratch? Come, this way. Thank you. Your Majesty. Huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Your Majesty, this is amazing. 
Does this mean we'll be able to see each other whenever we want to? This isn't a mirror. It's a special screen, which allows you to see everything that's going on in the world. Could you tell us how it works, then? You just have to think very hard about who or what you want to see, and the mirror will show you. <gasps> Impossible! Who did that? It was me, Your Majesty. I wanted to know what had happened to the Emperor and all of his subjects. Let's have a look. I was betrayed. Someone replaced the flask. Doctor, if you let me go, you'll become the Emperor's personal doctor. Trust me. Don't go. I'm telling you the truth. As soon as I get back, I'll give you all the riches and power in the world. Believe me. He's got a really big personality, but unfortunately, there's no hope for him. He's as mad as a hatter. He keeps... Uh, Talking about Atlantis, of mermen and mermaids, of conquering the world. Uh, I'm afraid we'll have to keep him in here forever. <laughs> Let the dancing commence. One more night to love you again. One more time to relive my dreams. We will meet again. Just wait and see. Heaven knows that you'll always be the true love of my life. The great prince of all my dreams. What I feel for you is beyond all the sea. When I have you so near me, I feel
they're so sharp and white and neat. They bring on fear and even some terror. Once they shed, I make no error. With no doubt, and needless to say, the feast is taken with the prey. With no doubt, and needless to say, the feast is taken with the prey. Oh, you, you, there's no one mean as you. <laughs> Assassin, terror of the sea. Yeah, the terror sea, that was me. You all know why, and that's no lie. Everyone here, they all need to know the world is ready and the ocean will flow. I'm the great terror on the coral reef. They can sing about the great ice tea. No one's That lives in the sea. Some try to fake it, no one can take it. And all that evil is just for me. I sink my teeth in a great big whale. I eat every bite without any fail. Sink all ships just to have some fun. And watch them sink every single one. Look at my empire and all you see are sunken ships in my cemetery. Look at my empire and all you see are sunken ships in my cemetery. Please.